welcome back Kevin's mobile repair doing another uh, review here this one is a King Bolin e Diag plus this one's a little more of an upgrade to your standard scanner this one is Bluetooth so it's a little dongle that you plug into the obit 2 connector and then use your phone holds all the app software on here so we just do this code our VIN now this one is if I'm not mistaken will have a one year software type of uh, program I haven't gotten to that point obviously yet I haven't had it that long uh, but I believe you can renew the software at a year I don't know the price of it that can be found out on their website uh, this one will do a lot more of the special diagnostic stuff that a larger scanner would just in obviously a phone capability uh, it does require to have cell service so if you have a phone that doesn't have good service then you will likely have a problem because this thing does need to be connected when it hooks up and it does the auto scan it will communicate with their server to make sure that you have the most up-to-date software for this and also it will help decode the VIN number uh, so that way you have the correct vehicle and so we're hooking up to it right now and it's currently doing so I, I've had a couple problems where it did not want to connect because I was in a crappy cell phone area uh, I think there's a way around it that you can get it so that it doesn't require the Wi-Fi but I haven't figured that part out yet so this is a typical setup right here you got special functions system selection scan system that is if you know exactly which system you want to go into health report goes and looks at all the systems that the car has and see what pops up as far as a uh, codes and stuff uh, yeah so this one right here can do uh, brake bleeding you can relearn throttle you can do tire pressure monitor a mobilizer key programming not really on a Chrysler without the pin number I think some of the Fords gonna be the same way other vehicles it can extract the pin number hold it and then program the other keys uh, that you have uh, adaptive front lighting system which this one does not have uh, so we'll do a health report yes ignition is on so now it's just going to go and look at all the computers and stuff and see what exactly it does and doesn't have and uh, pull up all those codes but uh it's pretty it's pretty stout for what it is this one will be able to go into and actuate things that the smaller scanners will not be able to do so like i'll be able to go and turn the wipers on from this tool because it's controlled by a module so anything that's controlled by a module this scanner will be able to turn itself on so that gives you that next step of diagnostic capability where you will be able to see the inputs from the switch to the controller which is basically a computer and then the output from the controller to whatever it is you're trying to control so that way it's a it's an all-around diagnostic tool for the for a serious DIYer if they want to use that that's perfectly fine um, like I said you'll have to you'll have to upload the um, or get the subscription if you want to do later on for the later updates and so on and so forth but I think once this thing does not connect anymore you'll have to figure out a way to get around it I'll have I'll I'll, I'll deal with that kind of stuff at a, at a later point in time when I get to it but um, yeah this thing is like the like the other King Bolin but a little more powerful as far as the ability to control controllers so I'm going to put this on pause for just a minute, wait till this thing scans, and then I'll go in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we are back. So, went through and scanned most of those items. So it'll show all the same type of stuff the other King Bowen will as well. But like I said, this one will be a little different. 
So see how you have special functions, actuator tests, data stream, clear faults, module information, all that. So we'll watch this part. Wiper relay on. Oh, look at that. See? Turn it off. And then that's that's the more powerful type of scanners. That's what they can do. Uh, my Altel will do the same type of thing. It's Wi-Fi or it's Bluetooth. So I can go around to the back of the car and tell the trunk to open up if I want to. Uh, turn the brake lights on, turn the turn whatever turn the signals on. Any, like anything that's controlled by a controller nowadays, that type of a scanner can do exactly that. And this one will do just about, see, brake lamp input, stop lamp input. So this will tell me whether or not the brake pedal is being pressed. Uh, you know, all, all, all that kind of good stuff. It, it's, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a good item to have for a good diagnostic type of system. But uh, yeah, see high beams, low beams, all, all, all kinds of all kinds of cool stuff. And of course you can read and write codes and and all of that good item as well. Uh, special function. Yeah, if I want to change a equalizer curve on <laughs> on the radio but uh, can on this one because I got an aftermarket radio. So same thing with the engine computer. I'll be able to go in, anything that's controlled by the engine, if I need to turn on a fuel injector to test whether or not it's actually doing its job, I can do so. I can go into the computer, tell number one fuel injector to turn on, and if I get my 12 volts and it's got my ground, then I know I have no computer problem, no wire problem, no connector problem. I have a simple fuel injector problem. Saves time for actuation so much easier. So yeah, this thing will this thing control all the relays, all the MVLD, fuel injectors, all, all kinds of stuff. Rit, yeah, I can even turn my radiator fan on and off to make sure that works. Just makes things a whole lot quicker for diagnostic. Oh. Not every vehicle has this. I know Chrysler does. Uh, this one here can tell me exactly which cylinder is misfiring, which I love. Makes misfire issues so much easier because I can I can unplug one, watch it on the scanner. You can see it change. Like, all right, cool. So we're going we're going there. But yeah, you can. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's a that's one cool little feature. I know Chrysler has some other. Some others have it, not all of them, which kind of makes it maddening for you to determine exactly which scanner is and is not working to its ability. Um, but that is a, uh, that's a more powerful one. Uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. Uh, both of them are equally powerful. This one's a little bit more. Like I said, you got the actuation side, Got all the input side just the same, but uh, that is uh, that is the review for that one. And this is the e diag. This is the Bluetooth one that uh, has the ability to program keys too, except for the Chrysler one. If you have the pin number, you can. But any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know.